guys, welcome to another video and another question. So I have a very special one, uh, which comes from a specific topic. So let's see what the question is. If u is equal to sine inverse x cube plus y cube upon square root of x plus y, then the value of x times del u by del x plus y times del u by del y is 5 by 2 tan u, 3 by 2 tan u, 1 by 2 tan u, or none of the above. Well, so since u is equal to, since u is equal to sine inverse of certain value, what I can say, I can say that sine u will be equal to x cube plus y cube upon square root of x plus square root of y. Okay. So what is the requirement of the question? The requirement of the question is del u by del x, del u by del y. So what I can do is I can just differentiate on both the sides, uh, differentiate with respect to x and with respect to y. So if you differentiate with respect to x, this is what you will get. This is the quotient rule you, you will have to put up. So you'll have cos u del u by del x, cos u del u by del x. And similarly, you can figure out cos u del u by del y. So that will be So uh, you'll have root x plus root y into 3x square minus x cube plus y cube into 1 upon 2 root x upon del x uh, upon root x plus root y whole square. That's a quotient rule for uh, when you differentiate with respect to x. See, by symmetry, you can find out the derivative with respect to y. Okay, so once you have this, what do we have to do? We have to actually find out x del u by del x plus y del u by del y. So what we can do is multiply del u by del x. So you will get x into square root of x plus square root of y 3x square minus x cube plus y cube 1 upon 2 root x whole thing upon cos u square root of x plus square root of y whole square plus y times square root of x plus square root of y into 3y square minus x cube plus y cube into 1 upon 2 root y whole thing upon cos u square root of x plus square root of y whole square, right? You will multiply throughout there by x here by y and what you will be getting is the following. So you will get 3x cube root x plus 3x cube root y minus 1 by 2 square root of x, x cube plus y cube. Whole thing upon cos u square root of x plus square root of y whole square plus the same way you will get 3y cube root y plus 3y cube root x minus half root y x cube plus y cube whole thing again upon cos u square root of x plus square root of y square. In fact, what I can do is I can open up this as well, right? So I can say this is, or maybe I can just work it out and then see. So, so we have some common terms. Your denominator is common. 
first thing. So here, what do you have? You have 3x cube root x, and here you have minus of 1 by 2 of that, okay? And similarly here, you have x cube root y, and here you have root x y cube. So we'll see, do we have such terms here? So what you can do is you can just combine the numerator. So you have 3x cube root x plus 3x cube root y minus half root x x cube minus half root x y cube plus 3y cube root y plus 3y cube root x minus half root y x cube minus half root y y cube. Whole thing upon cos u square root of x plus square root of y whole square. So if you observe, you have this here, you have this here. Do we have any such term again? No. So what I get from here is 6 minus 1, that is 5, 5 by 2, x cube root x. x cube root y. Do we have x cube root y anywhere? Yes, I do have. So I get plus 5 by 2, x cube root y out here. Half root x, y cube half root x y cube is do i have it here yes so i get plus 5 by 2 y cube root x and do what do i have y cube root y and y cube root y so i have plus 5 by 2 y cube root y out here whole thing upon cos u root x plus root y now 5 by 2 of course can come out common and apart from that what could be there we can clearly take something common if i take x cube common i get root x plus root y if i take y cube common i get root x plus root y again so I have been able to simplify it by factorizing plus root y whole square. So this gives you 5 by 2 x cube plus y cube root x plus root y whole thing upon cos u root x plus root y whole square. So one of these gets cancelled. This gets cancelled. And what I get is 5 by 2 x cube plus y cube upon square root of x plus square root of y into 1 upon cos u. Do you recall what this is? This is the function that we started with. It is sine u. It is sine u. So what we have here is nothing but 5 by 2 times sine u upon cos u. And that gives you 5 by 2 times tan u. And that's your answer, my friends. This is option A. So option A is the correct answer. But the question is, is this the way you will work it out always? The answer is no. There is a shortcut to it. Shortcut. If you have the knowledge of something called, called the Euler's theorem. Okay. So what is Euler's theorem? The moment in, the, in a question you see x del f upon del x plus y del f upon del y. Your mind should tell you to use Euler's theorem. for homogeneous function. Now, what does this theorem tells you? So if F is homogeneous, 
you can only use it in homogeneous functions, okay? Homogeneous function of homogeneous of degree, say, n. Then, x times del f upon del x plus y times del f upon del y is equal to n times the function. Okay? Where, of course, this function is a function of two variables, f, x, y, everywhere it is, of course, two variables. That's why you have x and y in the picture. Okay? So, this will happen with any homogeneous function of degree n. What do you mean by homogeneous function of degree n? For example, what you have here in the question is u is equal to sine inverse x cube plus y cube upon root x plus root y. This is not homogeneous. u is not homogeneous. But with this, what we get is sine u. Sine u is x cube plus y cube upon root x plus root y. This is homogeneous and I'm going to prove it. For homogeneity, what you require is if you take lambda x and lambda y as your input and you get lambda to the power something, it is equal to lambda to the power something f x y then that means it's homogeneous of degree k. Okay? Homogeneous of degree k. Now, here what's happening? If we take this function and I put sine u is actually now, if sine u is, say, my f, x, y. So, then this is lambda cube comes out common. And from here, what comes out common? From here, root lambda comes out common. So that means what you have? Lambda to the power 5 by 2 f. That's what you get. So that means it's homogeneous of degree 5 by 2. And that means I can use the Euler's theorem here. And by Euler's theorem, what will happen? x times del f by del x plus y times del f by del y will be equal to n, which is 5 by 2. So I can actually mention 5 by 2. 5 by 2 times f. Now, what is f? f is actually sine u. So now you have u in picture. So I can say that del f upon del x is actually del u upon, I can say, sorry, not del u, del f upon del u into del u upon del x. Similarly here, it would be y into del f upon del u because you have f is actually sine u. So u comes into the picture, del y, and that's equal to 5 by 2 times, I can say, sine u. Right? Now, what is del f upon del u? It's going to be cos u. f is sine u then del f upon del u is cos u, right? Into del u upon del x plus y, again cos u, del u upon del y is equal to 5 by u, 2 times sin u. So what you get, cos u comes out common and you get x del u upon del x plus y del u upon del y is equal to 5 by 2 times sine u upon cos u, which gives you tan u. And that's what exactly we got. So, crux of the story is this theorem, it is a theorem, it is true. And what we did, the way we did, the longer way that we did, it's actually sort of a proof of an example. So, you do have a homogeneous function. And we actually went the longer way using derivative. And we found out the answer. The same thing is being provided by Euler's theorem, right? Euler's theorem is a generalized form. And this is an example. We went the longer way and we now know the shorter way as well. And yes, the shorter way is true. That is something that we proved through an example. 
Thank you very much. I hope this